if you're going to run the projectors up here in the chapel, you're going to want to come over to this rack and flip this one orange switch on, and that's all you need to do to that station. It'll go ahead and boot, and then you'll come to this, the second computer, over from the soundboard that's closest to the rack. Reach around the back here and press the uh, press and release the power button. And once you get the computer fired up, you're going to be focusing on these two icons here. So this uh, the first one here is the left projector. If you can't find the mouse, it's probably over on this screen because these are these are connected. It's almost like one big screen. You can sweep your mouse from one to the other, and that comes in handy for uh, showing videos up there if you want to do something on the quick. All right, so we bring this up. This should be filled in all, already. Just hit OK. You may have a little trouble if you're on the basics tab. So flip over to this detail control and then you'll go to power on and then you'll hit power on again. And that'll start up the powering process for that projector. Then you can come over here and double click on this one. Okay. Power on and power on. So the process to power these down is very similar. You'll go to your projector control and then you'll do a standby twice and that will, that will shut those projectors down. Here in the chapel on the slides computer, you can also use that to put video up on the screens. So to do that, uh, there's two methods. This first method is kind of the down and dirty quick method. The second method is by importing the video into ProPresenter and that'll make things look a lot more slick and professional. If you're not concerned about that and you just wanna get that video out there, uh, the process you could just go to YouTube most generally, that's where your videos are found, or um, you can uh, download it into the computer through a uh, USB stick, flash drive, memory drive, thumb drive, whatever you'd like to call it. And with that, you can um, import it into ProPresenter, or you can just launch it from the memory stick and then uh, drag, drag it over um, onto that screen. These two screens are really run on the same computer. So it's sort of like one big screen and I'm just grabbing that top bar with the mouse held down, that right click and just dragging it over and setting it up there. So you can do this with any YouTube video, right? You can go to YouTube and find the video that you wanna play. And uh, once you find that video, you can just drag that up onto the screen. You can go ahead and maximize it if you want. When you do that, uh, this screen will go dark. It's not a big deal. And uh, just uh, if it has uh, sound and you want that sound to go out to the house, um, what you're gonna do is go over to your soundboard, assuming the, just make sure you know the speaker here is turned on and the volume's all the way up. And then you're gonna go over to your soundboard here and you need to make sure that this is unmuted. So that needs to be dark and up to about the zero. And then you're gonna look here at the uh, channels on this right side and you'll notice there's one called video. And you see I've already got some signal there on the meter. So if I unmute this and turn this up, I should hear, there it is. Three elements are right off the top. Triple axle to start, then the quad LUTs, and then another triple axle. Say you brought a USB drive and you want to put that in the computer to put a video from this uh, up onto the screens. So what you do is you look behind this, and you'll see you've got some USB ports there. So you can plug into that, like that. There we go. And then if you do a, a go, and you go to computer, you'll see we have an untitled drive and here we have some video. So what I could do from here is just double click that, open that video right there, and then um, you can drag that dude across just by click and hold onto this one. 
There I have it. And from here, I could play it and just basically have the same effect. Um, it's out in the house, but uh, again, not as clean as putting it into ProPresenter where you could um, make it look a little more professional than dragging it across there while everybody's watching you. <laughs> but it does get that uh, video out into the house so that people can see it. And once again, if it has uh, audio on it, you just need to have this up to the zero, have this light, have it unmuted like that. Look for your, uh, your video channel here. Unmute that and bring up the slider. And there, and there we have it with uh, sound coming into the house as well.